I just could never imagine going to like Christmas dinner and knowing that like like aunts and uncles and stuff heard through the grapevine that I do my own paywalled sex videos. Getting a plate, some stuffing, a little cranberry, a little slice of the turk. It'd just be a little awkward, you know what I mean? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, been many hot minutes since he wore the pink toque and had a little Caesars hot pie with the Batman, apparently. But let's check this thing out. She just landed. Should be fresh, should be hot. Should be looking extra nice with a Muckbangers Pro Move. Been a minute since we had a Muckbangers Pro Move out here. Runny Riz, barbecue, and a little Caesar dressed lettuce, strictly lettuce. And I'm gonna finger bang it while I eat this. Now, that being said, fair warning, this video is going to be <laughs> very sexual in nature. So if you don't like that, I suggest you skedaddle. If you're into it, stick around. I wanna talk about OnlyFans, things like OnlyFans. Is this progression or are we devolving as humans and the species moralistically? Um, my take on the matter, how I feel about things, the psyche of it, what it could do to you for your life, money, or shame, perhaps. But I wanna talk about it. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, so let's get into a bite. <laughs> All right, so I got pepperoni, extra cheese with the crazy crust. Got the crazy crust dust on there. And we're gonna have to go in for, obviously, a drippy first. Runny Ranch, and then we get into some sexy time combo. Now it's not gonna be that explicit. It's just gonna be about sexy things, like sex work and shit. But uh, we haven't had an extra dirty dirty dip bite of runny on a good pie in a long time i feel as if so let's do it that's basically food sacks right there i can tell you that really really good Mm. I've not had a little C's in a very long time. I just reactivated, skipped the dishes for this. Turns out I had a $15 voucher on there as well. So this cost me like seven bucks. We like that. We do. Garlicky, buttery, cheesy, crazy crust. Very nice. All right, so, fact of the matter is this. Seems like these sex sites, mainly women, men also, but, you know, people with personal followings, such as like myself, like theoretically or hypothetically, I could really just start some shit up if I wanted to, you know what I mean? Talk about that momentarily. But what I'm saying is, it seems as if this whole thing is becoming very commonplace. And what interests me about it is that, like, I don't know what the st if there's a stigma around it, but basically it seems as if societally it's becoming very, like, sex positive, progressive, do what you got to do, get your money up, get your bag, like, do whatever you want to do. Let's liberate ourselves sexually. Let's get away from antiquated um, ideas of, sharing our sexuality via like media and video and stuff because let's face it a ton of the of life now is digital i definitely think the pandemic 
like jet fueled the shit out of all of this. Because a lot of people are just like, all right, I need to make money. I'll just make it this way. It's interesting because I want to say like the Eastern world, the Asia's sex is kind of quite tab taboo in that sense, like culturally, morally. A lot of shame involved, like with selling your body online. In the West, I think we're a little more liberal, but like for the most part, pretty traditional moral values. I would say still as the majority. But Europe, however, Germany freaks <laughs> love sex. You know, Spain, Italy, France, right? We're all just animal. We like to fuck, it is fun. I fuck many people, you know? I feel like that's more their attitude. Not all, obviously, but more so than over here. Fact of the matter is, most of us, there are anomalies, but most people, you know, are sexual. We're sexual creatures. Um, that's how we come to be, come to be, <laughs> is, you know what I mean? Through sex. We all have it, have had it. For the most part, if we're at a certain age. We've been on adult sites. We started like stroking our shit when we were pretty young, I would imagine, right? Like we've all been privy to this for quite some time. But when it comes to recording it, putting it behind a paywall, banking on it, and also knowing that like, it lives there now forever, right? That's a whole different animal. To make that leap, is like, I don't know. It's like, on one hand, you better clean up, right? You better make some serious money. So you can take your bag and just become independently successful, not really worry about it. affecting your life later on down the road in a, you know, in a disastrous manner kind of thing. Psychologically, personally, my inner little deviant my little shadow self that I have, part, a part of me, sees the excitement in it, sees how it would be invigorating and like a risky fun time to think about people who've watched you, who've probably like 
had thoughts about you can go find you somewhere, pay for it, and see you engage in acts, right, with others or yourself, whatever, whichever you choose. Psychologically, I understand p part of that aspect, how it could be, you know, exciting. That said, I don't think the money or the, uh, at least on my end, like some level of inherent shame that would come with that. I don't think that could, I don't think the little excitement of the money could outweigh that. And also, you know full well that you run the risk of literally anyone and everyone you've ever known, currently work with, just family members, extended or close, like they have the potential to have that like scent to them or stumble upon it. Like let's say your shit gets stolen and reposted on a general site, like P-Hub. And then your cousin's like searching some shit and finds like one of your videos. You know? Like that whole aspect of it. for me would never outweigh the minor deviant intrigue of getting risky for some bucks, you know? So it's very interesting. Now, what I'm trying to say is about progression or devolvement, like, which is it? Are we just becoming more sex positive? And we should be more open to these type of things and view them as more normal. Or is this uh trend leading to like further destruction of the world I'm uncertain it does seem however more and more especially women younger women like young women Like these TikTok teens that are just like influenced by this. Who can't wait to turn like 18 to start an OnlyFans type thing. What are the uh, repercussions or the consequences of all this? of our society going this way. I mean, the Europeans seem to be fine and they've been much more sexually liberated for, than us for a long time, so. I don't know. And it always kind of confuses me because it's like we all are human beings, so sex is like it's just a natural part of who we are, but it is, there are these societal limitations, parameters set for like what is acceptable and what isn't kind of, in a sense. About how free and open 
You should be. Not can be, because you can do whatever the fuck you want. But, should be. And that should is very interesting, because it's like, where does that should come from? Is it a sort of antiquated societal should that's been programmed into us? Or is there something inherent and innate inside of us already that just feels like, no, you know, it should, you should keep it conservative, keep it at home, keep it private, keep it to yourself more often than not or at all times? Is that naturally in us? On majority? Or is that just the program of our society? Once again, I refer to the uh, to European countries. They have a different societal view. So therefore, they're more open about it. I'm not sure what to make of it. Ultimately, it's to each their own. And the people who do it, especially now, because it's like, it's not like you're in LA getting smashed out by like a bunch of dudes a week and it's violent and things like that. It's like you're doing it from the comfort of your own home. Most usually you might have like a dedicated either partner or like stunt cock that you've hired to like be in on the cut that he's, you know, this guy that comes around that but it's like the same guy all the time type thing. Or maybe you have a few on rotation, but it's not like some sketchy LA shit. It's just interesting to think about. Because it seems like the people who do it seem to really, really enjoy it. Like they really like doing it. Like they like what they do. Like they're very just expressing themselves sexually and they get like, they get off on it. And they make big money from it. There's always a factor of money. It's been playing on my mind for a long time. The whole psychology of it all and like the trend, where it's heading, where are we going with it? <laughs> the fact that it's getting like more and more prevalent, popular, acceptable. I just could never imagine going to like Christmas dinner and knowing that like like aunts and uncles and stuff heard through the grapevine that I do my own paywalled sex videos. It just the getting a plate, some stuffing, a little cranberry, a little slice of the turk. It just be a little awkward, you know what I mean? And you know that one creepy ass uncle or somebody in there probably dropped his visa in, you know what I mean? Just to have a little look ski. I guarantee it happens. <laughs> More than you'd think. I guarantee you. So I don't know. You tell me. I don't know how to make heads or tails of it. But I'd like to hear about it down below. Because it is very interesting to observe.
is all I'll say really in summary. All right, perfect pie. Haven't had a Caesars in a while, but it was great. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.